Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Liz and today I am at Walmart. It has been so long since I've been to a Walmart looking for clearance, hidden clearance deals and things like that. And I finally feel comfortable enough to go out today. So I'm headed into Walmart and seeing what I can find. I need to pick up a few things for my house. My husband wanted some energy drinks. He said his energy has been pretty low at work lately. Maybe it'll help boost him up. And um, Easter's coming, so we need to get a few things for Easter because I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to get out again. And uh, I want a mini waffle maker. So those are the things we're going to look for today. Plus, obviously, hitting clearance. So hopefully, we'll find something and I will have some stuff to share with you. So let's go inside. Okay, so people ask me how I find the prices. So I go to the Walmart app. And if you go here, this is what it'll load up to be. And you'll see start um, shopwalmart.com. You click on that. And it'll load the store assistant for the store that you're at. So then you could just click here and scan any barcode. Um, there's an Easter. And then it tells you the price in that store. And then if you click on walmart.com at the top, it'll tell you that price. And then you can click on change and check the price of any other store. Okay, so on a power panel, these are marked $7.94. They got a couple different designs, but this budget one is coming up $4. I used one of these last year um, to help me just keep track of my expenses and things like that. I really liked it. But I'm not using anything right now. And then this wellness one is actually coming up five dollars. Okay, so I found some Super Mario Legos. This is three zero three eight five Super Mushroom Surprise. These are regularly five dollars, and this was actually coming up three, and it is not marked. Okay, I'm down in the, I don't know, stationary aisle, and I'm looking at some back to school. I'm looking at some back to school stuff, and this was just laying on the shelf, and I know that this is not something they normally carry, it's just like a seasonal item, and they're normally like $13, and this one is coming up five. I've sold a ton of these in the past on Amazon, like for clearance prices. Okay, I thought this was a good deal. This is um, regularly 30, and then they have it marked down to 21, but it's actually coming up at $9. It's like a whole 15 piece set for a baby. It'd be like a really good baby gift. Cause you got like four onesies, three pants, a sleeper, and that gown, some mittens and a hat. I think this is a really good deal for nine dollars. This store has a ton of clearance shoes and I don't see prices. Oops. I don't see prices on a lot of them. Like I just scanned these ones because uh the boys could always use some new shoes. And these are coming up a dollar and they were like twelve seventy six. I'm gonna scan some of the other ones and see how much they are, but they have like tables of shoes. They have some really cute sweatshirts here. Look at this markdown for 75 cents from 450. They're like little kid sizes. This is six to nine. I'm wondering if I could find anything in like Luciano's size. He's, um, oh look, 2T right down there. Genius in the making. That is Luciano right there. Look at that, 75 cents, what a deal. How cute is it? And then there's, um play all day rookie of the year they're all like really little sizes here's like an 18 upc here's like a rookie of the year but what a deal right 75 cents i got some cloth diapers here for seven bucks too this is a good deal though Found some men's thermals here. They're 11 and they're marked down to five. 
I mean, it's not like you need them really in Arizona where I am right now, but maybe if you're traveling or for next year or something, I don't know, they might be a good deal for somebody. These are five bucks in the store. They're $10 online. They're like um, containers for spices and things like that. And you get a set of three for five bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. My store has a ton. They are marked five. But I just thought it was a good deal because it is a clearance price. I have these Better Homes and Garden containers that I use for storage in my pantry and I really like them. These are the storage containers I have. I bought like a 10 pack at Christmas time for like 25 bucks. I was able to do like a store pickup with them and I love them. It's like a really good deal like compared to like this three packs like $16 and that four pack there is like 27. So I thought the 25 was a good deal. I tried to get another one after I got it. It sold out pretty fast. But I would definitely recommend these. Okay, so I just want to share with you quickly some of the stuff that I bought. I'll share the other stuff. Um, I guess you'll see it in the next part of this video. But I got some potting soil because if you saw my FabFitFun um, box, unboxing, I got that basil plant thing and I don't have any soil for it. So this was the smallest bag I could find at Walmart. And then uh, my mother-in-law had brought these over a few times. My children really like them, and I saw this box of them get four packs for two bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal, right? Um, Ibotta. There was a bunch of Ibotta stuff. So this right here is from Ibotta. These two are free. This is Coke with coffee. Have you seen it before? It's different, right? So that's free from Ibotta. And then this Starbucks Triple Shot Energy Extra Strength, and my husband asked me for some energy drinks. So I thought that was a good deal too. What's up, buddy? Yeah, this is for dad. Yeah. And then these were the ones he specifically asked for was C4, but these ones were a dollar back when you bought three, so, or up to three, so that's three dollars back. And then the C4. Then I told you I wanted a mini waffle maker, so I was able to find one. They have this in this color and in red. Didn't really matter to me. It's like nine bucks at Walmart compared to some of the other places. Um, and then Xavier's been bringing salads for lunch and we don't really have a container to put them in. So I found these, I thought this was a cheap way to make it fit into his lunch bag. And then we talked about these shirts there too. They were 75 cents. So little Luciano here got a new shirt. Do you like this shirt? Yeah, I like it. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah. So this is everything I bought here, part one. Luciano, I bought that shirt for Luciano. Yeah, yeah. What's your name? Touch. Oh, it's Luci's shirt? Yeah, basically Okay, and then this is the um, Easter stuff that I bought at Walmart. So I bought four of these. My kids really like, um, gummy candies they all seem to and so i thought this would be like a good thing to throw into their easter basket so i got four four kids for them um i don't know if anyone really likes peeps it was really hard to find yellow peeps i'm pretty sure all of them will well at least the boys will eat them the 16 year old is more picky than the rest but the boys will definitely eat anything that is sugar. And it's really hard for me to find yellow peeps. And I thought, like, yellow is, like, so traditional, right? And then, what else? Oh, Rolos. I like Rolos. <laughs> so we got Rolos. I thought they would be good to put in some eggs, though. Um, Reese's eggs. I just figured these are, like, a, you know, traditional Easter candy. Um, I know my husband for sure will eat these and like them, and I think my daughter likes these, and then again, this would fit into an egg for an Easter hunt, um, but I just saw on the weather that next week, at least on Friday, it's going to be like 92 out, so what's it going to be like on Sunday for Easter? Like, it's going to be hot, and hiding like chocolate outside, it's going to be all melted, I don't know. I bought four bags of grass. These ones are 44 cents. I thought I had some at home, so that's why I only bought four. One, two, 
two, three. Oh, one more is four. Um, I bought these because I thought they looked good. These are Peeps and they are dipped in chocolate. I know they've been out for a while, but I've never tried one. And uh, I thought maybe I would give these a try. Um, one more bag. Uh, I know for sure. Well, I think I know for sure that my daughter likes Tootsie Rolls. Who knows? You know, 16-year-olds, uh, teenagers, they change their minds all the time. But I think she likes Tootsie Rolls, so I got her Tootsie Rolls. I got um, the both of the boys like Roblox. They're really into playing Roblox on the computer and Minecraft games. So I saw these and I got one of those. There should be another one. And this one, Series 7, Series 8. I have no idea what the difference between these are. It includes one figure and one bonus accessory. But I thought they would like those in their baskets. And... Ooh. Okay, Luciana's been liking watching Ryan's World. And this comes with a mini figure. And I thought he would enjoy that. He likes these, like, mini things. And then Amazon has been out of my Mio. So I did not get any in my shipment this month, which is so crazy. I had to pay three bucks at Walmart for this and there was not an I bought it for it. So yeah, this is everything I bought at Walmart. Um, I think I spent like $70-ish, 68, 70, something like that. Um, but yeah, this is what I bought.